what would the perfect Battlefield game look like? Is there such a thing? Well, I don't think there's ever been a perfect Battlefield game, and I don't think there ever will be. Perfect is something that's impossible. But what if you could pick the setting and then cherry pick features from previous games and even pick features that never saw the light of day, creating, at least in your own mind, the perfect game? What would that look like and what would it look like to you? Whether you're super old school and started all the way back in 1942 or maybe BF3 was the first BF game you played, how would it look for you? Let me know in the comments below. But here's what I would pick. Based on previous games in the franchise, these features are what I would want if I could build my own perfect Battlefield game. Let's do this. First up is the setting, and this is a tricky one. I think on balance and looking back at the previous games, a modern setting would work best for the franchise when it comes to things like weapon variety, cosmetics, vehicles, and just general gameplay options and locations. I would lean towards a game set ever so slightly in the future. Nothing drastic, but something that just gives you a few more options. If memory serves me right, BF4 was set in 2020, which was an ever so slightly future game considering it released in 2013. And of course BF4 had DLCs towards the end inspired by 2142, including things like hover tanks and railguns. I did love 2142, I played it a ton when I was at uni, but I think maybe something along the lines of the year 2025, no further than 2030, could work really well. The other choice I had in mind was the Cold War era, and I've done a video on this before. Those historians around will of course know that the Cold War never really had any full-scale combat, but what if we changed that and it was instead a Cold War gone hot sort of scenario? You could even throw some Vietnam War in there too perhaps, depending on which era you set it in. And this Cold War period, say late 60s to early 90s, would still bring in some interesting vehicles and weapons, and of course the return of helicopters, I'd be quite happy with either of those actually. But out of the two I'd definitely go for a slight future. And with that setting brings its diversity in weapons and gadgets and what you can do to them. For example, I would much rather see weapons in Battlefield games that have actual attachments again. I know that the attachment system has never been quite perfect and in BF4 there was definitely way too many duplicate attachments that did the same thing. But I just love the idea of attachments being more visual again, changing up the way that the weapon looks. The game would also have a weapon inspect feature so you could easily view your beautiful cosmetics and of course you'd be able to change attachments up on the fly while in game like you could in BF4. This game would also have way more freedom when it comes to cosmetic items, soldier camos, weapon camos, the whole system in fact could have more variety. BF5 does its best to offer up interesting cosmetic items, but they can be quite limited for the most part because of the World War II setting. And of course when they revealed the game and they had more, let's say, extravagant options like prosthetic arms and masks, that didn't go down too well. So a more modern game wouldn't really have as much of a restriction in my opinion, especially if it was set in the near future. Even a Vietnam or Cold War era could offer up some really interesting cosmetics, but for complete freedom I think a modern shooter would be better. What else would my perfect Battlefield game have? Well, it would absolutely have a battle recorder. So many games now have this system in place, but admittedly, most of them are Battle Royale games and it's possible that, much like with RSP, DICE perhaps think the majority of players would not need or use a system like that. In March though, BF5 is going to get its own BR mode and other games like Fortnite, Blackout and PUBG have replay systems so you can go in after the game and see exactly where you were shot from. You can see where players moved to, what happened and it really is useful for improving and also for content creation, awesome slow motion videos with lots of different angles, that would be amazing in a Battlefield game. In an ideal world, my perfect game would have a built-in battle recorder for both BR mode and standard conquest, even if it recorded locally and you had the option to turn it on or off. Again, purely in an ideal world, which of course, yeah, guys, we don't live in. One of the things that I think lots of players would want, and it's on my list, is to be able to change up and view assignments in-game. I want the older system of previous games to take over, with assignments that track automatically and medals that can be earned multiple times. 
then you would have specific assignments that you could work on towards for say XP that you could change up from the menu within the game without having to leave the damn server. Now I'm hopeful that a system like that will eventually make its way into BF5, but for my perfect game it's just got to be there from the start. I don't mind the Tides of War thing either whereby you have a certain amount of ranks that you need to achieve and you get cosmetics, dog tags and whatnot along the way. So I'd like to keep a system like that but just refine it a bit. I'd also have at least 100 ranks with the option to prestige for people who wanted it. People play games a lot. Now what about this? And I know this is far-fetched but in this video I'm listing things that I would really want to see in a perfect world. And one of those for Battlefield would be a map editor. Like I said, it's incredibly unlikely that DICE would ever allow that sort of thing, but just think about it. Over the years in FPS games, custom content creation and mods have helped communities and replayability of games to no end and improved them loads. With the current content system meaning we could go months without receiving a new map, it would be fantastic if the community could produce content that DICE then looked at and went, okay, with a bit of tweaking, spit and polish, we can make this work. Of course, with a game like Battlefield, I imagine making a map is very hard and time consuming. I'm sure I read somewhere it usually takes 9 to 12 months, and then you've got issues with assets, textures, how would players get access to those, unless DICE made them available. And yeah, opening up any sort of access to the Frostbite engine or part of their design process is probably something that will never happen, and I'm sure there would be a thousand legal reasons why it's not possible, but it would be epic if it was. When it comes to original maps, I'd love to see at least 12 released at the game at launch in my perfect scenario. And speaking of editors, whatever happened to the emblem editor that we had? Remember how easy it was to make an emblem on Battlelog? We seem to have lost some of that customization and flexibility over time, so it would be great if we could see some of that return. I mentioned this in a previous video, but I would also have custom animations that players can purchase or unlock different animations for reviving, melee takedowns, the lot, maybe even when you roll out of a window you get a slightly different animation. The squad screen at the end of the game could have custom animations and poses that you could unlock if your squad was chosen as the best. And speaking of melee takedowns, I would disable any sort of melee takedowns from the front. Hate that. I would also have soldier dragging in there too, of course, I imagine that that would be very hard to implement, but this is a dream world so it's fine. Maybe one day for BF5, we'll see. Rental servers, they're in there too. I know it's a hot potato right now when it comes to BF5, but I doubt many people could argue that if you were picking features for a game and money was no object or developer time, then RSP would be pretty high up on the list. And this, yes, would be in at the launch of the game. What about game modes? Well, personally, Conquest has got to be in there, right? That's a staple of Battlefield games to me. I like operations, but I have a middle ground between the current system in BF5 and the older system in BF1. And I'd prefer to go to the older system in BF1, but minus the behemoths. I don't think I'd ever want to see them again, really. Just my take on it. I also think that I'd have operations set to 40 players rather than 64. Again, just my opinion. Rush, Frontlines, Breakthrough, Squad Rush, Squad Conquest, Domination, TDM, and yet yeah, Battle Royale. But I still think Firestorm should be separate from BF5, so perhaps I'd do it that way, have a separate standalone game. I'd also add Chainlink back in because, you know what, I just loved that game mode. Chainlink on propaganda, Battlefield perfection. When it comes to the core gameplay, well, I think... Now that I've experienced it loads, I'd have similar gunplay to BF5. I think it's up there with some of the best, that recoil-based gunplay. But I think with modern weapons, you might end up with something similar like BF3's gunplay, and I'd be fine with that minus suppression. Modern assault rifles with modern shotguns, PDWs, maybe with a few experimental weapons thrown in there for fun. In terms of destruction, I'd like a compromise here of sorts that we have with BF5. The game has a fantastic amount of destruction, but it's not town leveling like it was in Bad Company 2, so you've still got elements of some cover left. Even still, if you look at, say, the town area on Arras, after a V1 rocket's landed there, there's basically nothing left. So a mix of destruction somewhere between Bad Company 2 and BF5, in my opinion, would be the sweet spot. I think I'd improve the kill cam a bit too, a small indicator, perhaps saying where you were shot and by what players just before you died, so you can easily look at that and realise that you were shot by two people at once, for example. A bit more info goes a long way. 
So how about classes? This is a tricky one as some players quite enjoy the current setup, but what if we went back to five classes? Assault, Engineer, Medic, Support and Recon. I think that could work pretty well, especially if the game is set in a more modern era because you have more of a range of weapons to give engineers such as PDWs or SMGs. The main thing that I'd want though from my perfect Battlefield game is fun. I would love to have some of the more epic fun moments in a majestic Battlefield return. I think with BF5 and BF1 we miss a lot of those only in Battlefield moments like for example launching tanks up into the air or jumping between jets after I've RPG'd one out of the sky. Those crazy stunts that you can pull off, the true battlefield moments and with this game being set in the modern era then jets would return as would helicopters so stuff like this could happen. You know helis have been missing from battlefield games for some time now and apart from the orbit attack helicopter that just destroyed BF3 for a while I do think that a lot of players miss them. Flying around in a transport helicopter like a Black Hawk with your squad in there, minigunning people, always good fun. As for health and ammo in the attrition system, this is another tricky one because parts of me really likes the new system and it feels a bit more challenging and some people love the fact that you actually have to go and get a health pack to return to full health. But in terms of the physical animations in the game and interacting with everything, maybe I wouldn't keep all of those, perhaps I would tone down a few. And apart from that, well, double vaulting, flag capture radius being on the minimaps, no spotting, wall penetration, those would all remain. I think I'd probably bring five man squads back too. Now what about campaign and co-op? Well, to be honest, in my perfect scenario, there wouldn't be any. I know that lots of people do enjoy a single player experience but for me I'd rather see that time and money spent on the multiplayer. I think that's what keeps Battlefield going and players always flocking to. But on the off chance that this did have a single player campaign in it I think I'd go back to a full campaign that focused on one person or a group of people together all the way through it rather than individual war stories that are hopping around the world. And that's about all guys just to summarize I think that would be my perfect battlefield game and then the rest would be up to DICE and all the talented people that work there to create the maps and the assets. It's easy right for us to just talk about what we'd love to see in the game but the reality is I don't think there'll ever be a perfect battlefield game because you can't please everyone. Everyone's got different tastes and opinions. People love historic games, people love modern. But if I could build one that's what it would look like. And like I said at the start guys, let me know what yours would look like below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that bell and I'll see you in the next one.